What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John Philly Gamer here. Welcome to you back to another episode of the Persona 4 Golden Edition series. And honestly, I'm excited to kind of get our show on the road here. I'm trying to turn up our gain. Oh, I remember what I did last time. I made it so that we had zero buffer. There we go. We figured it out. Because this is a lot much louder game than others so we have to set the settings as such so anyways we're out here it is 529 it's about to be the american equivalent of memorial day in game um dojima wants to talk to us dojima can talk to us but our relationship won't grow much closer right now what why don't you try and go to bed early ever so often? That's where we left off. That's what we did. And that's what we were going to do. We were going to head upstairs and do something at our desk. <laughs> Not quite sure what yet, but we were going to do something at our desk. Not really at our desk, but at our work table. You can work here. Um, benefits of working. Making envelopes cultivates your diligence. It seems that it'll that your pay increase will increase as, your, as, your, as much as your diligence does. Translation it cultivates your expression. It seems that you will pay increase when your ex expression improves. Origami is for understanding. Since it's volunteer work, you will earn money for doing it. You can work here. Huh. Let's... Let's get that expression. So basically we can get knowledge, expression, understanding and other things over here so you had a hard time translating expressions in a foreign in the foreign language your expression has increased you encounter a joke that you don't understand what should you do go for a literal translation translation though you were unable to translate the joke you achieved your goal yeah like here's the thing i don't want oh we got 2000 yen it did go up I don't want our expression and our stuff to be like, yes, let's translate this fakely. Like, we want to go for literal, literal things. Lunch time roulette. It is a Monday, so Ananya is going to be the one talking to us, hopefully. No. Oh. Yukiko does. Oh, if you have time, you could keep me company on the way home. It'd make me happy if you would. Think about it. I'll see you later. Oh my god, poor Nanya is like literally second class like to everybody else. Oh god, hi Chie, you're part of this too. Yo, what you doing? Hey, if you have time after school and want to hang out, think about it alright. Oh boy. Ananya is not part of the roulette. Hmm. Oh. So, Kanji Tatsume is still absent on the account of illness. Sounds like a load of bullshit to me. I bet he's out there dicking around all day long. What? What's with your faces? You're trying to tell me I shouldn't assume things? Don't tell me you're friends with that punk. Alright, listen to these words. Aristotle said a true friend is one's soul and two bodies. You better watch who you hang out with. You'll only bring your own worth down. Facts. Though I doubt the trash of society would even have friends like you. You listen to the lecture intently and gain knowledge from him. Yes, honestly, to be fair, I this is his lectures are really ridiculous, but I get knowledge from him, so I'll deal with it. I really want to do Ananye. Also, I love how the, like, now it's pushing me to go to the daycare center, which is interesting, because I'm like, but I don't want to do that right now. We have a bunch of things going on. So, Yosuke is available. Ananye is available. You know what? Ananye... We really need to do this. We haven't done this, and I kind of want to know what's going on in Symphonic Band. I... I want to know what's going on in Symphonic Band. C. 
See you later. And then we got Yukiko and Chie. Let's go for Ananya. We haven't done, we haven't gone to band. Let's go to practice. Let's go to practice. <laughs> You're pretty passionate about music, aren't you? Ananya looks super happy. I hope so. I feel bad for her and we need to go hang out with her. Cut, cut, cut. The trombone is flat. Oh, we're playing a trumpet. We're a trumpet player. Um, I kind of wish I got to pick my instrument. Not going to lie. I mean, like, I get that they couldn't really do that. There's a lot to choose from. But, like, if, I, like I wish I could have been, like, you could be, a like, a brass, a woodwind, or something like that. Because I was a woodwind in school. And I, I'm going to go for it. I did not like most of the drama players. They were, like, really erratic and crazy. And just, like, they were not my... Um, think. Oh, Anani is getting called out. Is that you again, Ananya? I'm so sorry. All right, let's see what we can do about the tempo of the second movement. You attended band rehearsal. You played your trumpet with passion. <gasps> oh my God! If we went to band practice just once, we could have talked to Daddy Dojima. I'm actually kind of pissed now. I figured as much, but I didn't. Uh, you must be tired, Senpai. You have such a great tone. I guess you weren't kidding when you said you've played before. Oh, sorry. I don't know. That doesn't mean much coming from... I know that doesn't mean much coming from somebody like me. I was sticking it out today. I wish I had as much talent as you. You do have talent. Everything I want to do, I can't actually select. and It's bothering the crap out of me. Effort is what matters. You're right. Just because I'm talentless doesn't mean I should give up. Ananya looks like she's in high spirits. You're not talentless. Oh, but we have another trombone player here. Teraku Senpai. He's really good, so he always gets picked for the performances. That's why I've never gone to one. But it doesn't matter. I can't play in front of an audience anyway. I'm sorry. I shouldn't bother you. With all of this, I better get this place picked up and so I can go home. Cleanup looks like a big task for one person. Help out. You offered to help Ananya. Your understanding has increased. Maybe we could have freaking told her that, like, you know, we could have, you know, that she was actually a talent. Huh? Huh? Uh, um, thank you so much. I'm sorry. You really shouldn't have to do this. Ananya looks apologetic. You feel Ananya's kindness towards you. Towards you. Your relationship... Wait, does that actually tell me? No, 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 no. Oh, God! No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, okay, cool. You feel a kindness... Ananya's kindness towards you. Your relationship with Ananya has grown slightly stronger. Ananya has a social rank, too. Your power for the Senecon is stronger, of course. Oh, my. It's already getting dark. All right, let's do it. I agree, Ananya. Nice you too, Ananya. I know we could have hung out with Yukiko, but I feel like I failed Ananya on so many levels that I couldn't just leave her. Oh, we could hang out with Nanako today. How are we close to leveling up on Nanako? It isn't ready to advance. I'm sorry, Nanako. I love you and all, but we gotta go and do other things. I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna get our expression... I'm gonna show you getting our expression up. Understanding also seems like a very big stat that we should be working on as well. Oh. Okay. 
<laughs> let's not do the silly things again because that was dumb. We lost half of the money that we could have made otherwise. So it is Tuesday. So Ko might come say hi to us actually. Oh, Ananye. Oh, Senpai. We ran into each other on another practice day. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to go. Please excuse me. Ananye. Ooh. We could double up on a we Ooh. We should double up on Ananye. Yes. Okay. Cool. That is exactly what we will be doing, is doubling up on Ananye. Oh, okay. Well, let's go. We, we still haven't even completed the girl on the roof quest. Um, I don't even know how to do that necessarily. So let me go ahead and fast travel to the roof. See if the girl on the roof is there. Try and ask her the question I didn't ask her already. Classroom building 2F. Maybe now we can go talk to him? Or do we have to wait till the next time we see him? Okay, yeah. Ananya, you're the first person. We're not talking to Ko. Ko's fine. Ko is not part of our roulette. Oh, Dice Gaze class. We're on 2-2. Two -two. Okay, no. I'm confused at how I completed that class the way that it's supposed to be done. Um, the other thing that we need to figure out is the, like, other... The other quest. Uh, you know what? Anani is more important. It's cloudy, and it's fine, but, like... I'm, value I'm valuing my social links more than kind of figuring out... Are we going to practice? Yes, we are. Go to band practice. <laughs> you played your trumpet with passion. Expression increased. Ananya isn't playing today. Excuse me. Part of the reason I'm here is with Ananya. <laughs> I'm back. Guess what? We've got our next venue lined up. Oh, where? Two places, actually. Yuriko N and Shino Ozawa Hospital. They want us to come play for them. Um, they said they'll give us an extra exact date as soon as they can. Did they request any specific songs? Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't ask. You didn't? Well, make sure to ask next time. Uh, oh my god, you talk to them. We kind of need to know. Jeez. Oh, yes. okay. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll go right now. No, no. Just remember next time and don't forget to tell the activities advisor. Alright. Oh, sorry, Hagrid, but we decided who was going to go to the next performance before you joined. You can play with us next time. Alright, that's it for today. You guys can take off. Oh, oh I haven't cleaned up yet. I think I'll stick around and practice. I was out for so long, I didn't even touch my trombone. Do you want me to help? Huh? Oh no, I'll be fine by myself. Trust me, I'm really bad. I'd only embarrass myself. Ananya's voice has no confidence. Honestly, now that we've got a performance, I need to be on tip-top shape. Not that I'll be in it, but still. They won't let you go? Uh, I guess you're right. It's not that I wouldn't. Ananya looks glum. But I think I'll make myself useful. If I played along for a performance, I'd only give us a bad reputation. But there's a lot of other things I can do for the club. Scheduling, accounting, and cleaning up. Is that what you want? Huh? Huh? But, but I think everyone else here is glad that I'm here to take care of stuff. So if they're happy, I am too. Ananya looks at the ground. Anyways, I better start practicing. Be careful on your way home, senpai. Ananya is concerned about you. Your relationship has grown slightly stronger. 
Level three. We like leveled up again. We did that really fast with an Anya. We'll take it though. The power of this persona of the Sun Arcana has grown. Okay, so we hang out. So Wednesday, you parted ways with the Nani and went home because you know, we, even though we offered to clean up, she said no. She wants to be by her lonesome. And Nanako and Dojima are both available. Oh, she was talking about the fridge. Uh, hold on. You open the fridge. There's a variety of food inside you can make for lunch tomorrow. Spend the evening making tomorrow's lunch. Sure. Yaki Niko Bento. You decided to make that. Cool. We're making a bento box. You ran out of salt. What should you do? You use soy sauce instead. Came out perfectly. It looks delicious. Obtained soy sauce based yaki niku bento. And it's a Wednesday and it's cloudy and it's fine. Oh, it's the first of June, lunch break. You brought your lunch today. Do you wish to share lunch with somebody? Who would you like to invite for lunch? You know what? I think this is an opportunity to hang out with. Yukiko. This is our opportunity for Yukiko, I think. Honestly. You ate lunch with Yukiko. You ate soy sauce based Yukiko Bento together. Wow, this is oh. good. Did you make this on your own, Hagrid Coon? The flavor is excellent, and the presentation is so great too. Do you work as a chef at our, or do you want to work as a chef at our place? I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Though it would be more than welcome if you wanted to. You feel your relationship is going to become closer soon. Oh, we could have like, wait, is that was that supposed to? Hmm, wait a minute. Is that actually not what I think it is? So that didn't help us build our bond. What I think it is. So that didn't help us build our bond. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. And downstairs we don't have... I don't, we probably don't have Yukiko and Orchie. Oh, we have Yukiko. I. What do you want? I'm busy. No, I'm not asking her to freak out. I don't care if the game wants me to. I'm not going to. Sorry, game, but no. Let's hang out with you. Go. Oh. Oh, hi, hi, Gurkun. It, it seems Yukiko isn't busy right now. Oh, isn't busy. Yes, yeah, spend time with Yukiko. Yeah. I let her say that she was busy, and I was like, nope, we're not going to bother her because she's busy. But if she's not busy, we can hang out with her. It seems Yukiko brought a book about job certifications. <laughs> Thank goodness that was the last one. Sensei recommended me this book because it details a bunch of different job licenses. Sensei? Hmm. The career counselor, I ask him for advice sometimes. Yukiko seems a bit embarrassed. Inside the TV, the other me said she didn't want to inherit the inn. I think those are my true feelings. So I've decided to be a little bit more true to myself. I, I refuse to inherit the Amagi Inn. When I graduate, I am leaving this town. Doubly shocked. I said it. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> he goes, has a refreshing smile on her face. 
So in order to live on my own, I'm thinking about getting a job license. I was thinking about something along the lines of an interior decorator. What do you think? That sounds great. Honestly. Yes. That's cool, isn't it? You can guess seems happy. But it's hard. It costs money to get a license. And of course, I can't tell mother. If only there was a part-time job I could do discreetly. You can make envelopes in your room. Really? I'll go check the board then. It seems like you were able to help Yukiko. Touched by Yukiko's spirit, you feel your relationship has grown deeper. And we have more power with Yukiko. Oh. Um, Yukiko just learned Mudo. Uh. Um. I was a bit nervous about telling the others how I feel, but thank you for helping with me, keeping me company today. It was, yeah, look at all. I think I'll be all right. I think you will too. I'll see you later, Yukiko. I'm glad we got to hang out today. Now it's evening time. You're back. There was a delivery for you. It was left on the table. It's the audio shoes combo you purchased on the TV. You also obtained a bonus prize sticker. Thank you, Nanako. Hey. I was thinking of taking Nanako out to Junus. You want to come along? Wait, we can just do that? Okay, yeah, let's go. That's the first time we've been presented with this option, so of course, yes. You came shopping with Nanako and Dejima. <laughs> Nanako's enjoying herself. I figured you would. This is the first time we actually get to be with Dojima, too. Did you want something, big bro? Go ahead. Get whichever you want, but make it quick. You decided to purchase something that caught your eye. You spy a royal jelly. Obtained royal jelly times that. <gasps> Dad, I need to go to the bathroom. Uh. Mm, all right. I'll take Nanako to the bathroom. So wait here with the other thing, or with our things. You see Chia and Yukiko a little ways away from you. They don't seem to notice you. You hear them talking to Come each on. other. Man, you really look great in that kimono, girl. That long black hair, it's a perfect fit. It's like those two things together add up to something really special. I can see why you guys fall, for, why you guys fall for you that easily. Well, C come on, you're overestimating me. I have a lot of strong points that people like y about you. Or I have a lot of you have a lot of strong points that people like about you too, Chie. Huh? Really? Like what? Your jumping skills, of course, and how you can eat almost anything. Huh? What was that face about? I'm really jealous of that. Chie ran off. Yukiko ran for her. You wait for Nanako and Dojima to return, and the three of you go home happily. Oh, we have a stretch of rain. Classes have ended for the day. You wait for Kanji to recover. Yep, yep, we are. <laughs> that we are. Girl on the roof is not going to be there, so... uh I don't know what I did or what's wrong. I thought I talked to the girl on the roof already, but we probably didn't. And it's raining, which is going to make this a very interesting day. Not many people are typically available. We don't have practice. Ananya is available. That shocks me, actually, that Ananya is considered available, and they're not. Hey. <gasps> Wait a minute. 
we don't have the rain restriction. That's what it is. So an Anya might not be a bad choice then. You know what? Frick it. I'll ask her out. What? You just give your afternoon class next time. We'll go somewhere far away. <laughs> oh boy. Our courage is not good enough. But she's kind of scary. Um, I don't know how, I, how much I like her. Because if to hang out with her requires me to skip class, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Anani is available, but I'm going to go to the roof real quick just to make sure I'm not missing the girl on the roof, which I don't think I am because she usually isn't. Okay. So we go into town because unfortunately for Ananya, we have some food to eat. And we got some books to see if we got to purchase. 611 is when the new books are coming in. But yeah, we got a rainy day special to go do. And unfortunately, like I said, unfortunately for Ananya, it does mean that we will be missing her. You're unable to finish your meal at your current state. Plus one to knowledge, and now we are an expert in knowledge. Courage and diligence. Expert knowledge. That is a positive. Now it's evening time, though. You're going to want to hang out. I figured. We hang out yesterday. Let's still spend time. I still think it's a good idea. The rain doesn't seem to be lighting up this morning. Whoa. Nothing in the lunch roulette. I mean, it is Friday, though. And there's not a going on on Fridays, so... I guess we'll climb up. We gotta, we gotta try and find the thing for our hermit fox. Hmm. Yeah, 
I don't know. We could do the rainy day challenge again, though. Let's go into town. Let's figure out. Because, again, there's a girl that does not like having, cr like, craving. And, like, <clears throat> so maybe that might be a... Oh. Don't you think that once something is written down in a book, it suddenly becomes more meaningful. And I'm currently practicing something I read in a book a while ago. No, I can't do it all. Hey, you, can I ask you something? Sure. Thank you, my request is I was walking along the river and I saw the cutest little cat. It looked like a stray. I wonder if it would eat cat food. I want to give it a good meal. All the books say that you shouldn't feed feral animals, but, oh, I know. Why don't you do it for me? Okay, thank goodness. I'll leave it to you then. Please feed the cat. Hmm. I could go to Aya again. Like, I wouldn't necessarily be opposed. Maybe on the floodplains? Or the girl that I need to talk to just isn't out, but... Juness, maybe? I mean, I'm still going to go to Aya, but I just figured I would look. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Other than go to the central shopping district, so that's what we'll do, and we'll go to Aya again, and that's what it will consume our day with. running low on low on yen but it's okay <laughs> what did we get understanding knowledge diligence not bad 
not bad at all. Um, we're gonna increase our, I think. Welcome on, back. Oh, you might be able to. Hey. Night. Dodger has been home a lot more recently. Yep, we're doing it. It's past the expiration date milk. I ate past the expiration date pickles, so. Courage greatly increased. Courage has changed from average to reliable. However, you don't feel well and are going to bed. I mean, hey, reliability, not a bad thing. We will take it. I don't know. Again, it has my courage has to go to Brave before I can even talk to the chick and ask like her to do stuff because it requires me skipping class, which I don't like the fact that it does. But it's fine. We are still waiting on Kanji. But is this guy actually like? Uh. The fact that I can't even like do the thing is annoying. Okay, so no one on yay. We really I can't it's another day we don't have much to do or go off of. Nobody's available. I mean, it, it makes sense. It's a rainy day, but it's another day that's just going to Aya. <laughs> I feel like I wasted like most of my days just going to Aya and doing the things at Aya, and it's just like. And the cat's not going to be out because it's raining. So, yeah, I guess I has the best case scenario right now. And, you know, I'm probably thinking that it's a waste, but it really isn't. I'm good at that. <gasps> There's something that I can do now, actually. I got to do that in the next day. What do we gain? Understanding. We are now going from basic to kindly. Courage and diligence. And our diligence went from persistent to strong. So, not bad that our diligence has gone up so much. And now, the weather. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. There will be fog. That's not good. You know what that means. We gotta save. <laughs> That's what that means. Because shoot's gonna hit the van. <laughs> yes. They are forced to watch the Midnight Channel. It's midnight. Fog is set in.
No one is appearing on the Minute Channel. Since Kondry's been rescued, it seems the killer was thwarted this time. As it should. Okay. I, did, I guess we didn't need to buckle up because nothing bad happened. Wait, do they have kill scenes? Like, meanwhile, the frog shot of the shopping district. Oh, no, 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 no. Again. What the fudge? Hey, but it's back to sunny, so. You have the day off from school today. And now you can, all you can do for now is wait for Kanji to recover. What should you do today? You realize you haven't bought anything from the home shopping program this week. Maybe you should watch it. Cool. So this is an actual thing. Jingi Fudoshi. Oh my goodness, can't believe it. And you get two slimming foods. All that for 11,000 yen. Or one Inaba trout with two amber sima to your... We missed a sale. But it's okay. <laughs> we just didn't have money, and it was its kind of as expected. I was like, I don't have money, but okay. Ooh, we can do our gardening thing. Harvest the vegetables. But yes, let's go, Nanaka. We can do this. To return daikon. Return daikon. Are they gonna be like go homes essentially? That's kind of what it seems like. I'm excited too, Nanako, to be honest. But you just skipped your dialogue there. Okay. There's gotta be people available. Oh yeah, the, duh. The one, the, there's a person that's available. There's a very important person that's available. I like how I was like, there's gotta be somebody available. Yeah, John, there is. You should probably go to the Central Shopping District. Oh. Mary and Chie are both there, and we're going to talk to neither of them. Great. You're going in, then I'm going to go in, too. Oh, wait. Mary might come in. Something's different from usual. You don't see... You don't see Igor or Marie anywhere. Oh. Oh. Excuse me. Do you have any business here? Mm. As you can see, my master is currently away. If your errand isn't urgent... I regret to ask that you come back late. No, that won't do. This room is bound tightly to your fate. Nothing here happens without a reason. There must be meaning in our meeting here alone. Welcome to the Velvet Room. I am Margaret. I am the one who rules over power. Invited here after my predecessor's sudden disappearance. You may be the first person who has ever been welcomed here by someone other than my master. The Velvet Room is inseparable from the heart of its invited guest. The shape of the room and its residence are selected by my master, based on the number of guests and their destiny. Shall we chat? 
I feel that is what I'm called to do. That is what we're called to do. A faint smile appeared on Margaret's face. Her eyes have a hint of gentleness in them, unlike in her normal gaze. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Margaret. Oh my god, wait, 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 what? Oh no! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! No, 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 no! This is not what I was expecting to have! What? I mean, I guess it makes sense. If we have one with Marie, we've got to have one with Margaret, too, right? But then do we have one with Igor? Probably not. But she's got the Empress Arcana. You may earn EXP bonuses when fusing Personas of Empress. So we have an Emperor and Empress. Seems like you already have several social links already. Reoccurring meetings, reoccurring words, by deepening your understanding of one another, your bonds strengthen, but sometimes the heart is shaken more by a single action than a thousand words. Do you understand? Somewhat. Hmm. Today's meeting might be classified as that single action. I've decided. The strand of fate that you follow entangle me within it as well. Perhaps the new bond will be spun. There's is something I've wanted to know. And you are the first guest I've welcomed here. In light of today's meeting with my master absent. Hmm. I believe we are both special to one another. Margaret smiling. I want to know more about you. First, I think I shall have you show me your rare persona ability. Let me see. Show me an Ipon Tatra that knows Sukaja. The heart is shaken more by a single action than by a thousand words. Have you already forgotten? Hmm. Then I'll have something to look forward to. Well. Oh, her social link is going to be a butt. Her social link is going to be a butt. Wait a minute. We don't have that. And I don't know when the heck it gets Sukaja as a move. Although Chie, I f are we level two chariot? You can coast to Margaret's one because we just got her. Yeah, we're level two chariot. Let's make us level three chariot, okay? We need that desperately. We have no money either. <laughs> Whoops. A snack. That doesn't taste like a snack. Hmm, I have no idea. My stats taste like snacks. Do you want some? You've obtained meat gum from a tree. Eh? You should try giving this to the woman. Speaking of snacks, have you ever heard of... Have you ever... Do you ever get hungry inside the TV? Maybe I should bring something with me next time. Do you think this is cool? That shine... Those curves, man. I want that helmet. It seems like GA has free time. You feel like your relationship will go close to certain... Okay, well, no. We're gonna... We're gonna hang out with you after we talk to this woman. What's that smell? It smells juicy, raw, yet sweet. It's the rumor to meat gum. Gulp. Hey, can I have a bit? I want to try it. If you're unwilling, then I must. Then it must taste good. That won't work for me. Urp. What is this? It's it's chewy meat. This is also considered a snack. The world of snacks indeed is a vast and infinite. Well, it's certainly different and odd when I think of a snack. I definitely recall this taste now. Thank you. Now I won't linger in front of the sheery ghost store anymore. Oh yes, I need to visit the shrine. I made a wish to hate snacks there. So I'll use my stack money as offering. 
It seems like the monetary offerings will increase and the fox will be happy. Yay. Chie first, though. <laughs> Chie, then fox. Yes. We're gonna train. We're gonna hang out. We're gonna do some kung fu moves. We're gonna use your chariot persona for the good of the people. You decided to train with Chie. Oh, today is the day. Chie is enthusiastic today as well. That's good. Oh, hi, hi Nanako. Huh? Yo. Oh, Nanako-chan. What are you doing? Huh? Training, of course. Hmm. Training? Who are you fighting with, Chie? Hmm. hmm. <laughs> Myself, I guess. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. Wow! So cool! Y you think? <laughs> oh, a grasshopper! Huh? Uh, no, no way! Wh where? <laughs> it, it just landed on your back. Oh, she's afraid of bugs. <laughs> You're gonna hate me. Get it off, get it off, get it off. Nanako grabbed the grasshopper off and she is back. Y you don't like grasshoppers? I'm no good with anything with thin jointed legs or anything creepy or squirmy or... Ugh, I... Uh, I can't get them out of my mind. I can't stand those things. So she's got a fear of bugs. But they're so cute, though. <laughs> You're just like Yukiko. Oh, see? Because Yukiko's fine around bugs. But me? I totally lose it. It's kind of funny, huh? I'll be honest. It's kind of cute, in a way. Mm. <laughs> Doesn't really fit my image, does it? Chie's laughing. Oh, we don't have a chariot person. A lot of kids in my class don't like bugs. It's not just you, don't worry. <laughs> not Ikuchan. Oh, you don't know how happy that makes me. Thanks. Come on, you want to train too? Okay. Let's start with form. I'll teach you a kata. G and Nanako begin training while we sit in the background. But you sent Nanako home before it got dark. I gotta get over my fear of bugs. I don't want to look like a sissy next to Nanako-chan. All I have to do is think of them as shadows, and then I'll be able to grab a whole fistful. I just gave myself goosebumps. Getting used to bugs might take a while. But I won't lose to the shadows. You felt Chie's burning passion. You feel your relationship with Chie has grown yet deeper. Level three. Chie's determination in battle has enhanced. Chie can now perform follow-up attacks as well during battle. So, we, as you guys saw, Yosuke was able to perform follow-up attacks. Like if we got, if there was a crit or anything else. I'm assuming that Chie has a different form of effect on that kind of an attack. Welcome back, Nanako. We got to hang out twice today. It's not ready to advance yet. Oh my god, Nanako. Like, girl, I love you, but... Mm, I gotta be efficient with my time. Which today, that involves gaining more understanding. I don't care that this doesn't give me any money. Understanding is increased. You created a bundle of cranes, but you, the bundle of cranes has not been completed. You'll have to continue next time. Hi 
there. <laughs> Where'd the manners come from? Ooh. Well, um, I didn't know you guys were my senpai. Thanks a bunch. Though, I don't really remember what happened. There's some things we'd like you to tell us about. First off, who was that boy you met with? I really don't know much about him. I mean, I've only met him twice. Yeah, but you walked home from school with him. What did you guys talk about? Uh, well, he just asked stuff like uh, if anything different happened lately. I don't know where my head was at. When I came to my senses, I blurted out that I wanted to see him again. To a guy. I, uh, I don't really get it myself. Girls are so loud and obnoxious. <laughs> so, you know, I, I really don't like dealing with them. Guys are a lot more laid back. So, uh, I started thinking, what if I'm the type who never gets interested in girls? And I couldn't accept that, so I kept spinning around and around in my head. Well, I can understand the part about feeling more relaxed around dudes. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm fine now. I mean, it was all in my head when you get down to it. I was the one shutting out that stuff. So, uh, our family's run a textile shop for generations. Oh, yeah, you, you already knew that. My parents are kind of weird. They, they say stuff like, dyes are one with the universe, and cloth is alive. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of house I grew up in. So I've been interested in sewing and stuff since I was a kid. The second I say stuff like that, people look at me funny. Girls make fun of me. The people in the neighborhood treat me like I'm some zoo animal. So I was sick of everything. And when I got to my senses, I was running wild. Shit, what is with me today? I'm going on and on about myself. Forget all that. Man, I must look really lame right now. Uh, no, you're actually you're actually pretty cool. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> I've never talked about any of this stuff before. Guess I never had anyone to tell it to. Guess I wasn't really afraid of girls. I was just scared of people in general. But all that's behind me. Wow, I'm surprised. You're a good kid. Uh, don't, don't call me a good kid. <laughs> You're a big guy. You can take it. Hey, is there anything you remember after you ran into us the second time? You know, after you chased us away and said you were going to take us down? Huh? Uh, I went home. I was gonna sleep it off in my room. Wait, I, I think someone came... To your house? Who was it? Uh, well, it was just a feeling I had. I, mean, I don't know if anyone actually came. Other than that, I remember some weird, dark entrance thing. And when I woke up, I was laid out on the floor of that sauna place. Dark entrance. Could it have been a TV? Huh? Now that you mention it, maybe so. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, no reason. I was just wondering. God, can people just, can you just tell the truth? Y'all, like, I love you all, and you all look great, but like, you can, you can talk the truth if you... Did the police ask you anything? Well, my mom had called the cops to look for me, so they questioned me for a while. I told them exactly what I just told you. And they looked at me like I was crazy. 
So, like, are you guys playing detective or something? Mm, well, something like that. Anything I can do to help? If there's some bastard out there who put me through this, I ain't gonna rest until I make him pay. <laughs> Typical Ganji response. Seriously? Awesome. You'd make a great addition to our team. What do you say, leader? Of course. Thank you, sir. I'll put my life on the line for you guys. I know you will. I'll do my best. Kanji has joined your group. He'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. And our I think that's the fool arcana that's gonna go up to four. Yeah. Our fool arcana's gone up. Let's go. Investigation team social link has reached level four. Your power to create a persona has of the fool arcana has grown. Well, if we're going to welcome aboard a new member. Should we take him to our special headquarters? We're still calling it that? <laughs> Honestly, Chia, I thought the same thing, so I'm with you, girl. Well, what's that? Come on, let's go. <gasps> Wait, is Teddy going to meet Kanji and actually meet Kanji for the first time? And get glasses and everything? <laughs> Wait a minute. Man, you eat a lot. Were you listening to what we were saying? Probably not. Well, well sure, I, I was listening. Ah, oh, close your mouth. Agreed. Mm. So, uh, what, so someone's killing people with the TV? What, 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 is he beating them to death? No, they weren't being beaten with a TV. Were you listening at all? <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, don't worry. He'll understand once he sees the place with his own eyes. But the way it happened was just the same as with Yukiko. The killer kidnapped him first, then threw him into the TV. Yeah, it's scary. That show's been pretty crazy lately, huh? Yeah, I keep wondering who'll show up next. I knew before I came on that he'd be the next one to appear. What's that dude's name? That first year who used to be in a biker gang? Who the hell do you think was next? His name is Kanji Tatsumi. And he wasn't in a biker gang. He's the one who beat the shit out of those leathered up pansies. So who are you dipshits? Oh boy. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Boring. I can't stand it. Sure, they have no idea it's related to the murders, but still, how can they talk about their schoolmate like that? They're like onlookers at a car crash. As long as it's not happening to them, they're dying to see. Damn, this sucks. We don't even know who's going to be targeted anymore. This case disproved our assumption that all the victims are female. What was the other thing we thought they had in common? People involved in the initial case about Miss Yamano are the targets. How about that? Well, both Yukiko and Kanji Kun were involved in some way or another. But that announcer was dealing with their mothers, not them. You guys saying you don't have any clues? Well, listen up, because I got something big. Ooh. What's that? Okay, when I made my comeback at school today, there was an annoying brat hanging around. Turns out, he was snooping around about senpais and my disappearance. So I took this from him. I don't know what the hell this all is, though. Uh, and you took it anyway? You take the paper from Kanji. There are several lists. Which one will you read aloud? It's a ranking of female announcer popularity in various local stations in March. This Yamano was the lower middle of the list. Does this mean she wasn't that well known until the incident? It's just this guy's personal rankings, nothing important. What does the next one say? I hear her 
album sales have gone up since the incident. If she knows about it and she's using it to sell her songs, that's pretty sketchy. She has an alibi, though. I don't think this involves her. Let's move on. What are these dates? April 11th? Oh, they found the first body on the day school started, so that would have been the 12th. The 11th is the day before that. I know I can't forget the day Saki Senpai's body was found. That was the 15th. So then what are these dates? And what does list of TV programs mean? What's Saki Konishi April 13th? I see. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. I saw that too. They were interviewing her because she found the first body. And this part. Mayumi Yamano, April 11th. Is that the day she appeared on TV too? Oh, she was on. I remember now. That, that was when the affair, affair hit the news. Yeah. Hey, wait a sec. Yukiko, didn't you get interviewed too? When did that interview air? I think it was when I was absent from school. It was the day after I met you at the embankment. I had my kimono on. Do you remember? I went shopping that day, so... April 15th. And right after that, I was kidnapped. Kanji, what about the television special you were on? Oh, yeah, that thing. Damn show made my mom go ape shit on me and... The date, just tell us the date. <laughs> uh, I don't remember the exact date, but it wasn't too long before I met you guys. It's true, then. Everyone was on TV before they disappeared. So, you think the killer's targeting people he sees on TV? I was so caught up with the news reports about the incidents that I didn't notice at all. It can't be a coincidence. Now that I think about it, when the killer failed with Yukiko, they moved to Kanji instead of trying again. Maybe this being on TV thing is some stupid rule that the killer's following. That's right. The killer could have targeted the same victim again. I think there's a definite connection here between the kidnappings and the TV broadcasts. The victims weren't just involved with the first case. They were also shown on the mass media. That must be it. But if so, what's the motive? Why kill someone just because they were on TV? Damn it. Now that I think... Why can't I be smarter? Dude, why beat yourself up? I think you guys are awesome. I mean, you guys noticed what was happening to me and even risked your lives to stop it. That's more than enough. You rescued me, too. We may not have solved the mystery, but we've saved two people already. That's true, but... What's more, everyone's deduction that Kanji-kun might be next was right on the nose. I know! We were so close! Huh? You knew before it happened? Damn. I wish you guys come a little earlier then. Well, if we know this much, I think we can outsmart the killer next time. Then it's a countdown to their arrest. Don't forget, it's always possible that Kanji-kun was the last target. Or so we hope. We've thwarted them twice already. Here's hoping the killers learn their lesson by now. Anyways, let's keep checking the midnight channel like usual when it rains. That reminds me. The school campout's next week. I hope it doesn't rain. It's for both the first year and second year students, so we'll see you there, Kanji-kun. Seriously? School, huh? What a drag. Yo, mind if I order another grilled steak? I'm gonna finish this one up while the next one's on the grill. We're, uh, we're going Dutch on the meal, right? Well, let's get going. I think our new teammate needs to meet Mr. Bear. <laughs> Fine, whatever. I'll 
go for something cheap like ramen. Wait, or should I get a takoyaki set? Man, I can't decide. Jeez, he's got a hollow leg. What? <laughs> I feel that because as a teenager I had one too. But like, damn. Now that you mention it, I kind of remember this thing. Didn't think it was a bear, though. Hey, why is it a bear? I don't know. Me neither. I've been wondering, too. It's kind of cute. M mind if I pet you? No touching allowed, mister! <laughs> <laughs> don't give me any lip, bear! <laughs> I just gotta say that's my fault. By the way, I've been wondering. You were kidnapped too, right, Yukiko Senpai? Huh? Yeah, it wasn't long before you. So, like, that means you came out to everyone too? Th that's. Uh... What was it like for Senpai? <laughs> <laughs> No, Kanji, she isn't lesbian. It's that's not what her stuff was about. Her inner truths were completely oh, different. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you so hard. Uh, my jaw. I'll be more gentle next time. <laughs> There's gonna be a next time, okay? More gentle. What a pair of dimwits. <laughs> oh, a pair. Oh yeah, here's a present from me, Kanji. It's to celebrate you joining the team. Blue glasses. Oh, so these are the glasses you guys told me about. Hurry and put them on. Huh? Sure, but hang on, aren't these different from everyone else's? Huh? <gasps> <laughs> 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 it looks perfect on you. <laughs> oh no. I did. I was not expecting them to actually like run the same gag twice, and it actually worked. <laughs> oh no! How did it actually <laughs> work? It, dude. it looks great on you. I had a normal pair ready for you, but Yuki-chan insisted on this one. She wouldn't budge. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, real funny, you smartass. Why are you taking it out on me? <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> Kanji grabbed the other pair of glasses that Teddy was holding. <laughs> <laughs> you took my spare pair. Kanji, you must really like those. <laughs> <laughs> We're giving him so much shit. <laughs> Oh. This is the real one. It was an easy get <clears throat> to you. Why the hell did you bother making a spare if it's more useless crap? Damn it. <laughs> Ooh, they're silver. Okay, they're nice. <laughs> think we got him good. Well, Doge was able to talk. We might want to do that tonight. I'm still doing it. You feel like your relationship is going to go closer soon. Okay, cool. Oh, ramen. Oh, the instant noodles really hit the spot. You know, the rainy season's just about here. Isn't it a little early? Once it starts, it'll be raining every night. We'll have to keep a constant eye on the midnight channel. Crap, I didn't even think of that. Well, so it goes. The rainy season, but it's I June. You were about the rain because the school camp out. Why are you 
so excited about that? That's right, it's the first time for you two. You realize the only purpose of the school campout is to develop a love for one's hometown and young people, right? Yeah, they tell us that up front, so? Well, you see, the way we supposedly develop that love is by picking up trash off the mountain. Picking up trash? Develop a love my ass, that's slave labor! Well, the night's kind of fun. We cook our own meals with mess kits and sleep in tents. The four of us are in the same group. Nice. The same group, huh? Does that mean we sleep together at night, too? You wish! Guys and girls sleep in different tents. I'm warning you. If you leave your tent at night, you'll be expelled on the spot. This gets worse and worse. I thought it was going to be fun. It's only for one night, and we disband before noon the next day. It doesn't last very long. Oh, we did have some fun at the river before going home last year. Do they let you go swimming? I think so. There's always someone who takes a dip, although we didn't. I see. So you can swim in the river. Oh, don't you dare try and push her in. Oh, gosh. And also, is it actually we going to camp? Or is that later? I just wasn't, we are okay hey morimoto did you know this week is health week and you're not part of the student health association in other words you're a lazy bum i hate lazy good for nothing kids like you so i'm signing you up to take a piece of, take pl the place of a sick member uh, wait quiet you I don't know what school is like for you, but big city kids. But here, every student's duty to pitch in. Don't tell me you're not of enough of a man to do something this easy. Fine, I'll do it. I see, I see. Then go straight to the infirmary now, and you should—they should be expecting you, since I already told them you'd do it. Thank me. Um. Good luck, I guess. Uh-huh. I know. I feel I feel great. We're going into a gray spot. But... Oh, Hagrid Coon. Was it? The transfer student, right? Did you get hurt or something? Thank goodness. We're running low on people. We need to check around the school and see if anyone needs help. But someone has to stay and watch this room. Hagrid Coon, would you mind staying here and dealing with anyone that stops by? No touching the medicine, of course. If someone whose heart shows up, use the first aid kit. The other things you'd have to do worry about are salesmen and phone calls. They're pretty uncommon, though. Hi, I'm Kiki Otto from Santo Pharmaceuticals. Hmm... Aren't there any adults here that could could you deliver the message for me then? Your school placed an order for gauze, but I need to know if the order can wait until the month after next. Give my regards to your teacher. Thanks for your help. Anything happen? Oh, well, these... <sighs> hmm, got it. I'll call them by. You had her relay the message to the teacher. You got his message wrong. He corrected me over the phone. You gave them the wrong information and embarrassed the teacher. All right, let's discuss what we found while we went to the school. Okay, one. Oh, that's right. You went alone. Since, yeah, since Kanishi isn't here. Oh, yeah, Kanishi-kun. He can't help it what, after what happened. Yeah, poor thing. So you just have to do his part, too. 
Hey, guys. Sorry, I'm late. No, it's okay. You don't have to come, really. Helping out your parents' store is hard work, right? We have a replacement, so don't worry. I don't want to be the only one. Well, you can help Hagrid Coon clean up the, the room then. We'll go report to the teachers, so why don't you clean a little and go home, okay? Well, goodbye. I'm Konishi, a first year. You knew Saki Konichi. I'm her brother. Ooh. You're friends with Hanamura, right? I hate him. And you too. Can I go home now? Sure. Goodbye. You did your best and helped the Student Health Association as ordered. The other members didn't return, so you decided to go home. Welcome. Nothing but interest is in the fridge. Oh. You ate one package. It was ridiculously sweet. Oh. It didn't do anything. Okay. Jeez. I mean, I know we're going to have to hang out with Nanako soon, but like... Ugh. Uh, hi. It's Kanji. Are you doing anything tomorrow? I want to go inside the TV. I want to test out my skills. Kanji hung out. Thought about exploring the OTV world tomorrow. You realize you haven't brought anything from the home shopping program this week. Maybe you should watch it. Um, how about nope? Because we don't have the money. Let's finish making your origami cranes. The colorful origami paper is giving your eyes drain. Let your eyes relax. Your hands went ahead and made cranes while you daydreamed. You woke up to a mountain of origami cranes. The bundle of cranes have been completed. As a reward from your volunteer association, you received antibiotic gel. Cool. And it's raining. Oh no. Isn't this camp day thing? It's June already, eh? Well, good news. That's me, Cohen. From the first year is the from the first year is back with us. So try and set good examples. I know it's rainy season, and you may not be very motivated, but let's keep our spirits together, okay? Anyway, I really hate this weather since I can't go outside. But watching sports on TV isn't bad either. I saw the uh, hike and die competition the other day. They do beautiful moves with delicate sets of balance, though. I can see why men would be afraid of it. Ha <laughs> ha Hey, Hagrid Coon, what sport is heckin' die? I don't know. I actually don't know. I feel like it probably... I can die. Feels like high dive. I'm gonna go with it. It's the obvious answer, which means it's wrong, but I'm gonna go with it. I bet when kids hear the word beam, you think about lasers, but oh god. Whoopsies, it's fine. I definitely didn't need to do that. Hey, I guess, guess what I just heard. <sighs> when they're sitting in back of you, it's like a squeeze play. What are you talking about? Come on. 
you know what I mean? Nope. I'm sorry, I got it ahead of myself. What I mean is... I'm talking about how when there's a girl sitting behind you on a motorcycle, they press right up against your back! Ow. I don't like motorcycles. Okay. Man, you're a lot thicker than I thought. Anyway, I think motorcycles are the hot new thing for guys now. Girls like guys who spend time outdoors, right? So I got you this. Want to get your license with me, partner? A manual for getting a motorcycle license. Um. Well, I can't afford anything bigger than a scooter on my budget. But at least that'll let us get to new places. Don't you think we deserve that much, seeing as how we're investigating the case? You know, Sia seems serious about this. Oh, hi, Kanji. Hey, senpai. Hey, about the camping trip. You guys busy right now? Kinda. We're talking about motorcycles. Motorcycles? You gonna go stomp a gang? If you're bringing a war, I'll help. No, we're not bringing a war. What's that mean, anyway? We're just talking <laughs> about getting motorcycle licenses. Whack. Licenses? You guys don't have yours? Huh? No way. Don't tell me you already... Nah, I'm still 15 and all. Then why'd you say it like that? Ah, uh, that makes me so, feel so weird. Oh, that makes me feel extremely weird. Okay, oh, yeah, whatever, I'm fine. Man, that reminds me. I'm surprised you picked a fight with that biker gang. How'd you chase after them? Eh, the bike's all I need for that. <sighs> in any case, we can't let you in on our up-close-and-personal plan. Up close and personal? What does that mean? <laughs> Keep it down. Like I was telling this guy, what a guy needs nowadays to be a big man is first a motorcycle, and then, and then, a girlfriend. You're like a kindergartner, Yosuke. Oh, shut up. I'm at least a middle schooler. You guys gonna get licensed for the big stuff? I mean, I know I came in late here, but if you're talking about taking a girl on a bike, you gotta be seen too, man. That ain't allowed on a scooter. <laughs> I forgot about that. Shut up, this'll work out. As long as we have a motorcycle, the girls will come running. That's all the advantage we'll need. I don't think that's how that works. The reason we don't have girlfriends is because we're stuck here in this town waiting to meet someone. This place is so tiny, it's no wonder we can't find one. It doesn't matter if it's only a scooter. Some kind of motorcycle is just the ticket for us to get some chicks. Then, later on, we can get a bigger motorcycle. And that's when the up close and personal plan really starts. Up close and personal? Plus, you know, you and me have more of a city boy thing going on. Kanji's over here really trying to think about what we're talking about, and I'm just like, I'm with you, Kanji. Like, I know what we're talking about, but uh, no, this is not me. If I don't. We're serious about this. We've got to expand our horizons to a bigger town. You can. We gotta take the initiative. There's no time to wait for a train that only leaves every so often each day. We'll roar up on our motorcycles like the badasses we are, and when the chicks come up, we'll play it cool. The pheromones dripping off of us will bring them around in no time. What, fe feral zone? No, we're not going to a cat house, you idiot. <laughs> I'm talking about pheromones. My research shows that oh a my God. is the number one surefire way to increase a man's pheromones. Oh my God. What, according to what research, Yosuke? Pheromones. Oh, why'd you say it like that? that oh my god this is the craziest conversation i think i've ever been a part of and i'm not even really in Dude, it that's how a perv would react what did you say fine then i'm in too get ready for kanji tatsumi to show his manhood to these chicks that's not the uh 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 i already told you you can't anyway don't Tell anyone about this, got it? Oh. If 
other guys try to copy us, it'll end up diluting our pheromones. And how do you suppose it will do that, Yosuke? So, partner, make sure you talk to your uncle about getting a license, okay? He's gonna say no. Got it. Not you. I don't even know your uncle. I'm serious about this. If we have motorcycles, we can go all over. It'll be fun! Yeah, no, I'm not asking. It is true that with a motorcycle, your range of activities will increase somewhat. Man, man. Somewhere out there, the best days of our youth are ahead of us. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. You should try consulting Dojima about the motorcycle tonight. No. How about no? Did you hear? Seems there's a ghost at Tot Shrine. Shrine. If you go there tonight, a ghost, a woman of ghosts would appear, and she threatens you unless you give her fish. Why fish, though? That's not something people carry around with them, you know. I don't think I can go near the shrine for a while. Excuse me. I have another request. Can will you hear me out? Sure. After you brought me that angel before, this time, can you bring me a crucifix? I'd like it to keep it next to the angel. I uh, heard some of these scary news again. I'm scared just because of my to be in my room by myself. Got it. Silver ones are pretty common. Like a crooked cross would be nice. I think that would work, so I'll be waiting. And it's raining. And it's a Wednesday. I don't know what I wanted to do. <clears throat> oh, we gotta we wanna go to the Irma, that's what we wanna do. Hi kid that I don't recognize. But yeah, that's what well that's what I wanted to do. Hey, I mean, at least I figured out immediately what I wanted to do and what I, how I wanted to go about it. That's good, I guess. So we gotta go feed the cat, which we haven't gotten to do yet. Um, Ayaz is also a possibility, but... Uh, I'll be honest, I'm more concerned about Fox than I am. I want to gain that social link and further that. You told the fox you granted the wish written on the Irma. Fox looks exuberant. Rumors of the shrine's benevolent spread, more people may come and have offerings. Howl. You can sense the fox gratitude. Hermit Arcana leveled up. Rank 3. It'll give you a discount on its services inside the TV. It's getting late. You decided to go home. So Dojum is going to be home as well. Oh. Adachi. Ah, you're back. Hi there. Hi, Adachi. You want meal too? Fair warning, it's from the supermarket. Well, excuse me. It's delicious, though. I can't believe it was on sale. Sorry, but this guy eats instant noodles every day. That constant slurping got on my nerves, so I called him here. <laughs> <laughs> I feel ya. You don't have to bluff like that. You just wanted to eat dinner with a coworker, right? Don't no. be stupid. <laughs> the meal was a great choice. Nanako-chan loved it, at least. I'd say she's eerily proud of her daddy. 
Oh, what the RG? Did my joke slip away? It is an eel after all. Oh, what RG? Just eat your dinner. <laughs> yes, sir. Monaco Chan's such a good girl, though. She went straight to do her homework once her plate was clean. It's not every day you get to eat eel. You'd think she would have spent some more time savoring it. You think that because you slack off too much. You should follow her example. I mean, he's not wrong. <clears throat> Way to hit where it hurts. What's the matter? A motorcycle? You mean a scooter? Oh, that's right. Kids your age can ride those. Uh, I don't know, though. Come on, don't be a spoil sport. It's no surprise he once went out here. I understand how you feel since I'm from the city myself. The trains don't run that often, and walking around everywhere is pretty inconvenient, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit of a hassle. Right? It's criminal. You say that, but... That reminds me, I remember you telling me something once, Dojima-san. About some of the reckless things you did on your motorcycle when you were young. You moron. Think before you talk. And once you're done eating, hurry and... <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Hmm. All right. We'll be there soon. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Ah. Uh... Adachi, you were the one in charge of that file, right? File? Oh, did that suspicious guy show up again? Would you keep your mouth shut? We're going back. Get in the car. Back? You mean to the station? But I haven't had my eel liver soup yet. About this license, did you decide on this yourself? N no one talked you into it. I know it's hard without a way to get around, but two-wheeled vehicles can be dangerous. Do you understand? I'm sure I can trust you to do that, but allowing you to get one is another thing. Don't give me that face. I, I know you're serious about this. First, you need a license. We can talk about this again when you have one. Well then, sorry to dump this on you, but I need you to look after the house. <laughs> Did you talk to him yet? Oh my gosh. Yo, it's me. How did it go with your uncle? I've been on the edge of my seat thinking about it. Seriously? Then let's go get ours as soon as we can. No. I gotta hit the books. Let's make sure we both pass together. No. You just gave us really want a motorcycle accident. You promised to get Ah. Uh, no. No 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 we have to take another entrance exam. No. Well, we'll save the driving exam for another day. Uh, apparently not. Okay. Well, if you're going to do this, let's pass on the first try. How are you feeling? It'll be a breeze. We got this. Eh. Now that's my partner. I see you haven't forgotten our up-close-and-personal plan. Well, let's make sure we're not late to the exam. We'll leave as soon as school's out. You promised me you would go with the exam after school today. You should get going. <sighs> but what if I wanted to save game? You know, that's a thing. I have to pass an exam of a country I don't even know. 
The answers seem to be flowing from your hand. Oh, wait. We don't have to... You succeeded in passing the exam. You've obtained the scooter license, which is a key item. <laughs> we passed on the first try. Just like we planned. Actually, it was pretty easy. I might have studied a little too hard. Hi, are you on duty? We just stopped by to get gas and, well, to take care of some minor business. Where did you guys go? To get our licenses. Already? I know it's just a written test to get a scooter license, but still, I wasn't expecting you to pass so soon. Oh well. Looks like I better think of a way to convince my sister. I can't say no now that you've gotten your license. Your enthusiasm is catching. Yes, you got the okay. I need to head home and read through the catalog. Well, see you tomorrow. <laughs> he already doesn't like you, okay? Mind if I borrow you a sec before you head back home? Yes, please. Hey, Adachi. I just finished filling it up. <sighs> Excuse me, so Adachi can fill up the gas tank? And it's fine. For you in the beginning of the game, we couldn't fill up our gas tank. That's a <laughs> What the heck? Sorry for dragging you into this. This is my scooter. I had it fixed at the shop. It may be old, but it runs pretty well. I came to put gas in it, but I wasn't expecting to hand it over today, too. I'm letting you have it. Oh. You can tell? The local shops don't carry twist grips, so I had one of the repair guys at work help me out with it in secret. Uh... Don't tell anyone that, okay? Dojo's passion for the scooter is obvious. You're always so strict at the station, but you're a cool dad inside, huh? Shut up, Adachi. <laughs> you always yell at me. Still, I wish we had a sleek means of transportation like that. Who knows when that suspicious guy will show up again? Hasn't he been using professional quality cameras to take pictures of people's houses? From the Amagi Inn to around here? Looks like he knows the back streets, too. So a car won't be. Will you stop blabbering like that? Go back to the car. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. I was around your age when I got my license, too. I took the test behind my parents' back. When my dad caught me riding a scooter later on, he gave me a good thrashing. <laughs> See, at least we didn't do that. Tell Nanako about that, okay? <laughs> Dojo was chuckling mischievously. Since I've already given the okay, I won't bug you about traffic laws. Just be safe when you're riding it. You do that, and I'll look the other way if you decide to ride it out of town. Can you promise me? <gasps> Wait. He's going to let us go wherever we want. Yeah. Good. I'll hold you to that. You received Dojima scooter. As you ride around and get a feel for the local roads, you will be able to get to more and more places. Can we take it for his test drive?
Having completely lost, you reach the station, but you feel as if you're starting to get a feel for the place. You'll need to ride it around a little bit more to be better acquainted with the area. Your courage has increased. Okay, so we found our means of making courage go up. You're back. Yes, we are. Thank you, Dojima. <laughs> no. Well, we're going to save, but thank you guys so much, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And yeah, this was a crazy episode, but we got a lot done, so see you then.